What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios we're going to be doing a shootout between the Dunlop Crybaby Classic and the Vox V847A Wah. So we're going to start off here with the Crybaby and then we're going to move over to the Vox V847A. So I'm going to start just with a chord. Uh, I'm going to let you know that I'm using a Fender Supersonic 22 head and a Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. If you've seen my other videos, you know which one. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start out just with a chord on the Crybaby Classic. We'll hear the sweep. <laughs> And let's switch over to the Vox. This is the Vox that uh, in the uh, WA shootout, the blindfold WA challenge that Kevin and I did. It had a scratchy pot. Um, we didn't want to use it because we knew. And I wanted a little bit of time to clean it out. So just so you guys know, if you have a scratchy pot, pretty much in anything, but especially in a wah pedal, it's easy to work it out. You just buy some contact cleaner. You can usually find it between four and seven bucks. Spray it in that pot there generously and uh, just move the wah pedal back and forth a lot for like two, three minutes. It works it right out and you'll have no problems. So we've heard that chord. Now I'm going to play just a little lick here on the Crybaby Classic. The box is a little harder to press down. I'm having to stand up to do it. I'm sitting down right now. So. Okay, so I'll play another little lick here, but I'll do the little the wah thing with the clean channels. So the... Now the same on the box. Okay, uh, so I'll play a chord again and we'll hear on the crybaby. <laughs> Was a classic. Now it's going to be eight four seven A. Oh, I didn't have to stand up to get that one. That's good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put it on the uh, neck pickup, and I'll play. I'm oh, going to the Crybaby Classic. Lick. And we'll do something similar on the eight four seven A. Put it back on the bridge pickup and we'll go on the burn channel of the Supersonic 22 and we'll play 
a chord and you can hear the sweet <laughs> Okay, so uh, one thing I want to bring up here, the uh, Crybaby Classic versus the Wa or the Vox uh, 847A. Um, in the room, so not, so if I'm doing this versus this, if this feels a lot looser and clickier than this. So I don't know if that translates well using the mics that I have here. Uh, but I do have my cabinet in another room, so maybe that'll help it out. But that's just uh, something I'm bringing up, or I'm hearing now. So let's play just a, a tiny little solo, and uh, we'll hear the differences there. <laughs> We'll do the same kind of deal with the uh, 847A. <laughs> Same thing with a chord, um, but I'll, I'll keep playing it there so you can kind of hear a little bit more of the sweep, I guess. a lot of people allude to as Kirk Hammeting. We'll leave that one alone. Uh, but say you're on stage and you're playing this great solo, uh, someone farts on stage or something happens uh, that's a little out of the ordinary and you kind of lose your place for a second and you're not sure what to do. So wah pedals are great at um, kind of hiding that. So I'm going to play something that doesn't really make too much sense um, and we'll hear how it sounds between the two. So Let's start off with the Cry Baby Classic. <laughs> one might <laughs> not really stay in place there uh, but which one might uh, help you out if you're in trouble I guess I don't know so next I'll just uh, let's put her on the bass pickup and I'll play some licks so the crybaby classic <laughs> So 
end things off with a, a little riff here played with the wah, uh, just to see maybe there's a, a whole bunch of different ways you can use a wah here. So I'll play this, I guess, over. I'm making this up right now, so I have no idea. Losing confidence. <laughs> Bridge pickup. Try that on the Crybaby Classic. All right, so there you go. There's the uh, Crybaby Classic against the Vox uh, V847A. Now, the reason I'm cho I've chosen those two pedals to go against each other versus the um, Vox V845 and the uh, Crybaby, kind of the original, the um, GCB95, uh, is that these are both kind of the second level um, of the uh, WAS for each company. You could say maybe uh, that the 847 is a little more similar to the classic or the original or the 845 is more like the GCB95 or what have you. Uh, I'll probably end up doing more videos like these on those particular pedals and different combinations too. Uh, but this this one to me, I, these the Vox for the sweep is a little has a little more high end to my ear than the Crybaby Classic. But other than that, they're they're very similar. Uh, both are great sounding pedals. Uh, the only thing I can really find with the two of them is uh, in the room without hearing anything. This is a little more clicky or noisier. And uh, this one's a little harder to turn on. So that's it. Um, both, like I said, are, both are great, amazing pedals, uh, great values. Both are kind of similarly priced as well. So let us know what you think about both of these pedals in the comments. Which one's your favorite? Uh, maybe you don't like either of these pedals. Maybe you don't like the way I'm playing. I'm cool with that too. Um, so let us know in the comments there what you th your thoughts are, maybe what was you'd like to hear compared as well. I have, a, I have quite a few, and I love was. So go ahead and let us know in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to Tricro Studios, and if you like this video, like it. Uh, but we do have a lot of videos coming your way, and uh, they're released every Saturday. And if you heard that chime there, that's probably one of the guys now. It is Kevin. So, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe as I look at my phone right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Ryan. Peace out.